What's up everybody? Welcome back to another Hillbilly Harvester series. Got a tutorial series coming for you on how to landscape. I've had a lot of uh, emails and stuff asking how I do this. How do I get these trenches and professional looking landscape when I do these custom builds? On the screen right now there should be some trenches and some pits and some road building stuff that I've done. So I figured I'd do a tutorial and kind of show you guys how to do it. You can see that I do the landscape work and just set up a couple machines in there to take some screenshots and it really turns out to looking good. So what we're going to do here is we're going to build a landscape map or a, uh, a test map basically with the landscape tool to start. We're going to start on Ravenport and uh, yeah we're going to get used to the landscape tool. So the first thing that we're going to do for our test map is we're going to go here into Ravenport like I said and I'm going to go into new farmer mode and I'm just going to sell everything that it comes with. We're just going to get the money and develop an area that we are going to test anything and everything we want to use. So what are we going to do first? We're going to pick our testing area. We've all been to Ravenport. I like field 13 up here very close to the shop that's something that we want to consider when we're picking an area for our test map you guys don't have to use Ravenport I'm just using it because it's a stock map and it's very popular everybody knows it we will get a little bit of money in here because landscaping and the land itself does cost quite a bit also one of the first step is we're gonna survey the area so we're gonna hop in the actual landscape tool now and just fly over to the land that we just bought Here's the shop. We just gotta go right up the road here with anything we buy, new mods that we wanna test or whatever. But first, we're gonna get down here. We're pretty flat, so it's gonna be pretty easy to get this going. Let's go over controls. The first thing I'm going to recommend when you're getting used to landscaping is to turn on your help window. It's gonna tell you we're gonna be able to raise go back we're gonna be able to lower the area smooth the area flatten the area change the landscape mode by pressing down on the left stick change the modification shape the size rotate the camera the radius it'll tell you everything and the cool thing about it is it's gonna be a step-by-step -step. you can hold the button or press the button and it's gonna do one step each time you press it and we'll get into that a little more. But for now, we're gonna clear this area so we can get going on our terraforming and making this area flat for our test map. We're gonna delete this field, and if you didn't know how to delete fields or an easy way to delete fields, here's an easy way. All you gotta do is paint the ground over it. This is a crop that I believe is ready to harvest. And uh, I guess if you guys really wanted to for the extra money, you could go, uh, you know, get a harvester and harvest this crop to get the extra money, but for our video purposes, we are not going to do that. We're going to do it the easy way. But again, you can delete the field if you just paint over it. It will work if you also terraform it. It will delete it and turn the grass to a, uh, or turn the land back to a grass color, in which I'll show you in a minute. Building a test map is going to be beneficial for several reasons. One, it's going to get you used to getting creative and the controls of the landscape tool, how it moves, the different functions, different sizes that you can do when you press, you know, uh, the different powers, the radius, I guess, is what that uh, is talking about. The different shapes also, they're square and circle. Farm sim maps are made in grid, grid type patterns. So even if I do the circle, you can see it still does a square imprint and that's because it's a grid under there. So what we're gonna do here is just show you a little bit how it raises in grids. We're gonna do a medium one and all I'm doing here is pressing A for Xbox and that's raising the selected area. 
people get frustrated because when they move it does that where it uh, kind of goes into itself and makes the whole area the same grade that you were. I'm going to get in how to get around all of that stuff later on in the series. For now I'm just kind of showing you guys what we can do to mess around and if we mess up it's really not that hard to fix especially if we're going to be doing a flat area like this one. So to start our terraforming, I like to come to a flat spot, which is our driveway entrance, and just hold the right bumper for the flatten function. I really like the flatten function. You can just go play around and kind of see what it does. But once you go flatten on your starting point and drag your cursor, it's going to bring everything to the same starting grade that we began with. We're just going to move the cursor and make everything flat from our starting point. Now you guys are going to see how with the grid system it leaves these little bumps and when you guys use placeables if you don't flatten the ground it gives you that raised spot. And it, drive you guys, it drives you guys crazy. I'm going to show you guys how we can get around that later on in the series and as we go along the first step of that is going to be to make the area flat first. As you can see, the field looked pretty flat when we were surveying it from the beginning, but as we're going, it's far from flat. We've actually ran out of money and we need to borrow some from the bank. And we're not anywhere close to being done. Another thing I kind of want to touch on briefly right now is you're going to run into these spots that won't let you landscape. There's either a stump underground or in this case, there's just something with the map, um, how it's built that won't allow us to landscape so close to the edge to that main road. Kind of sucks being on console, but um, I recommend you guys save at points you know you like and that way you're able to back out if you really mess up and can't get yourself back you know you can always go back and start at a good uh spot you, you know you were good at when you saved saving is another kind of you just got to use your judgment call there's no really wrong answer though we're gonna have a lot of fun just deleting this field, getting used to the landscape tool. And as I said earlier, as we go on in the series, we're really going to get into showing you guys how to build your own smooth roads on a map like Wilhelmina Forest, where you have to go uh, cut your own roads with your forestry equipment and build your own map. Now again, I really guys want you guys to mess around here and just get used to how the cursor moves because that's the biggest problem is people mess up because the cursor jumps or they press the stick too hard and they were trying to raise or flatten the area and it hit an area or deleted an area that they didn't want to so they got super frustrated so use this area and make a hi with a heart to your mom or girlfriend. Make them feel good. <laughs> so we're almost done with this field. Once we get done, we'll almost be done and I'll kind of show you guys how we, uh, a little bit of how I, I guess, landscape side hills after I do that, like that back corner to make it look more natural and not so gritty. Clean up the edges here a little. So I use two major functions with the landscape tool. I use the left bumper, the flatten, I'm sorry, the right bumper for flatten and Y, I'm on Xbox for smooth. If you pay attention right here to the smooth function, you can really see if I just hold Y, it's going to make all those little grids disappear. It's going to smooth the area out. So when I 
go drive on it, it's not going to throw me into a crazy, uncontrollable debacle. The smooth function is your friend. You guys can notice just how slow I actually move. And while I'm moving this, again, I'm still just holding smooth. I think it's going to be triangle for PS4 and Y for Xbox One. You can see just the difference already. It definitely takes some time, so that's where the patience aspect comes into. You can make your area bigger or smaller, as you'll see in here. Uh, in a second here once I get to the edge. I don't like how the grade is so tall over here. Maybe I want to have it a little more smooth so we can have a secondary entrance to our area. So all I'm going to do for that is get the area smooth around it and then basically I'm going to go to the largest area I can of the smooth function right here. I don't like this area. It's going to be the largest area of the smooth function that I can. And as you can see, it's just going to drag that whole area out and make it nice and smooth. And I'm just going to spend, I think I spent almost 10 minutes just in this little spot, just doing the smooth function with the different modification shapes and sizes. I put in a little driveway and just smooth it out later on in the series and I think I actually put the picture in earlier I use this little spot to kind of show you guys uh, when you place houses or buildings if you use a different grid or uh, if you're not flat how it it changes the grid that's the kind of stuff that is smoothing and if you do the leg work to make your area flat before you place the building is really going to help you guys out so you're not getting frustrated and going back and forth and messing something up or whatever the case may be. So we're going to continue on here and just hold Y for the smooth function on this back wall run into the spots that won't let us because they're the quote unquote master part of the grid too close or again there could be a stump in this case there's not when I come to situations like this I improvise a little bit I'll show you guys how I do that once it's flat and there's areas like this that won't get smooth I changed the paint and I put rock on it. The rock and the uh, texture of that sharp edge really makes it kind of pop and if you go in there's two different rock textures this, um, and then I go in with that dirt texture and then I add my grass texture. And it really livens the area up so it's not this bland grass looking hill there'll be much more of this stuff later on in the series just a little teaser I wanted to show you guys some stuff with the grid snapping and placeables that I was talking about if you hold up the right bumper it will put you to the nearest grid that the building will fit in and then if you bring it over here, you can see the bottom is going to actually require the land to be raised in order to make it flat. It actually won't let us do it down here, but look at the bottom, how much grade would need to be fixed in order to place the building. That's why we do this to begin with. So now we're going to save and we're done with our test map. Now we can go in here. And any time you open this map and you have a new mob that came out that you want to test before you put in your actual save game, we can go in here and test it. This is the No Man's Land placeable pack. It's an awesome pack. But everything is going to be flat here. 
It's gonna start super simple, make a test map, get used to the controls, super easy things that we can do, mess around. And remember, we can do all this right now because we just saved. And as long as we back out without saving, when we come back, it will be the blank slate and we can put anything down and we have a nice flat area. You guys could even buy the field across the way to keep that as a field. You could make a new field in this area or you could even do something like this where we go in and raise the area and figure out what different speeds does, figure out what different curves does. If we keep holding raise, it's going to keep raising the area. If I go pick a spot and do the flatten function like I did right there, it's going to carve and make that area uh, flat. I want to build an entrance right here, so I'm going to smooth it. Now let's say I want to uh, make this a flat area and bring it around to this other one. We almost have a little uh, pit mine looking deal right here. Let's, let's go down. Let's lower it. Oh, I went back up. See, that's just little things that's going to happen that frustrate you guys because you lose that progress, but it's easily fix it. fixable. Just don't get frustrated. This is going to be a great spot for you guys to come in, play around, get used to the landscape tool, get creative. Again, test your new mods before you get into your save games. And I think this is really going to make you guys... Uh, a lot happier and more satisfied thank you guys for watching I'm gonna save or I'm gonna not save with and uh, that way again my maps gonna be the blank slate next time we get in here's another picture of Lagalari one of his uh, little mines on our new Wilhelmina save and again I just want to thank you guys for watching have a good one